All right, welcome everybody. Let's have a chat about uh, for uh, food safety and quality. At first, I have a question. Uh, what do you think about when I say food safety? For example, uh, Jakub, what could you tell me? If I say food safety, what do you think about? Uh, if the food is safe to eat. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you know what happens if the food is not safe to eat? You know, what could happen to uh, us? You'll get food poison. Yeah, that's it. That's it. You might even die, right? If uh, it's terrible. All right. Thank you. Let's have a look at some important vocabulary here. I will show you some pictures and then uh, a word on the left. So on the right, you will see pictures. On the left, we have important vocabulary. You can tell me then uh, with each word where you can find it in pictures. So the first one is GMOs genetically modified organisms. Anybody knows uh, which picture I, I'm trying to show you here with this That's cereal full of E's. Can be okay, all right. But E's are more about like adding things into it. But if I have genetically modified organisms, I will change the DNA of the food. Well, then it's bananas, I think. The what? The bananas. The bananas? No, 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 no. The bananas are normal here, like uh, they go from green to yellow and black. That's a different yeah, but idea. You see, but, but you see like the first one is kind of rotted and the third one and the least one looks good. So I think that it could but be. Is it genetically modified? That means uh, you change the DNA. You change well, the DNA. I don't know, but it's. Well, if you change the DNA, you need some people uh, who do it. What do you call the people who would do it? Uh, lab we guys about... in laboratories. Yeah, in laboratories, and they are the scientists, right? So, uh, well, my yeah, basic right, idea so... is here. Number one, okay, it would be here. But look, uh, now that I think of it, when you say the bananas, let me show you what bananas looked like before we uh, changed them. We changed the DNA of bananas. The bananas that you eat every day are not the bananas that are in nature. So they modified. Yeah, that's it. So, so I wasn't far from the truth. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's a good point. That's why I want to show you. Uh, so this is a wild banana, okay? Does it look tasty? What do you think, uh, William? Does it look tasty, this banana? Uh, I don't think so. It yeah, would. you wouldn't probably eat it, right? Yeah. So now my question is, uh, William, why would we change the DNA of food? Uh, maybe because like, uh, ooh, I don't know how to say it. Maybe the mm. these bananas looks bad, so not much people would taste and it much or buy people? it. And much people? Uh, many people. Many, better, yeah. Okay, I get it. Yeah, so basically we can make the taste better. Uh, we can make them last longer if something lasts. Do you know what I mean? Last, I can show you here in our classroom. Last, vidržet, okay? So they can last longer. Uh, maybe I can grow them in a colder climate. That, that can also change, all right? There will be a discussion about this today. So, but later, let's have a look at more words. Number two, uh, this is something what uh, Jakub already said, but maybe Marek, in which picture can you see food poisoning? Oh, uh, I think it's the, it's on, it's in uh, right corner, you know, up. Yeah, yeah, that's it, good. How do you know she has food poisoning? Uh, because her stomach uh, hurts, probably. Yeah, that's it, well done. All right, then number three, rotten, spoiled, off. I think, Max, that you know, right? You used the yeah, word the before. Bananas. Yeah, yeah. So what is the color of a rotten banana? Black. Black, that's it. Now, spoiled, and if I say a banana is off, a banana is spoiled, or a banana is rotten, are they the same? No. So what's the difference then? Uh, spoiled is the... Yeah, to zarali. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, Zrali is a little bit different. That's the next. Ripe, okay? Ripe, yes, Zrali, ripe. And fresh, cherstvi, right? We, I think everybody knows this one. But look, uh, spoiled and off, they are very similar to each other. Very similar. Uh, no, be off, to může být, že jako by bylo strženo přímo z toho. Takže, jak to říct, prostě když vytrhnete jablko 
the stromu. Mm, not, not really. It's... Then it would be ripe, no? Then it's still ripe in that case. It's but no, no, look. Uh, it, yeah, exactly. Scajening. So if if a banana is off or spoiled, scajening. Spoiled are off, scajening. They are the same. But then rotten is more than spoiled. That means you can see already that it's terrible for eating. So like this, it is already rotten. But if, for example, imagine the yogurt, right? You open the yogurt and you cannot see that it's spoiled, but maybe you can smell it. Okay. But if a uh, yogurt is rotten, you will find a, a huge layer of mold. Then it is rotten. Okay. But if, if I cannot see it, it looks okay, but it doesn't smell right, then we can call it spoiled. So simply, it's more about, it's like about uh, intensity. How much is it spoiled? If it's spoiled too much, then you can call it rotten. Okay. So we can start like this. The banana is off. The banana spoils and the banana is rotten. So like this, banana can go off, banana can get spoiled, banana can rot, okay? It's a regular verb here, rotted would be in the past. So uh, I hope that's uh, clear now. So uh, maybe let me ask you, Onze, could you tell me what's the difference if I say a banana is rotten and a banana is spoiled? Yeah, it's very similar, but? If, uh, I don't know. You don't I remember? Don't pay attention. Uh, I don't pay attention. I don't pay attention, attention right yet. now. Okay, I'm no, sorry. please pay attention now. I hope that okay. uh, some other classmate will help. And then uh, Honza, can you tell us? Um, well, the difference between spoiled Rot rotten and, and rotten. spoiled. Yes. Well, rotten is just too much. Like, yes. To, yeah. I don't so, know how to say it. Like, it is yeah, so this is a rotten potato yeah? this is a rotten yeah. potato like this all right you can already see it and if i write spoiled potato does it look that bad no right it's not that bad anymore i mean some of the pictures could be but basically spoiled potato could be uh, like this okay I mean, it's not good enough to eat, but at the same time, it doesn't look so bad. Okay, so th that's the only difference. Uh, basically, this, the idea is the same. It's too late to eat the food, but at the same time, if you say rotten, it's too much. Zhnili a skazen, right? There's a little difference here. So uh, speaking of the number six, uh, there is an expiry date. So Peter, can you tell me? Where can you see an expiry date? In which picture? Uh, uh, in the fifth picture. Yeah, there we go. Uh, how did you know? Well, because that's there's the date that says when it expires. Mm -hmm. And what happens after the date? What happens with the food? Well, it can get spoiled. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Or the same with bananas, right? They will they will uh, spoil, get spoiled, or they will spoil. They'll be spoiled. Now I have another question uh, that I forgot to ask you: Is ripe and fresh the same? So, for example, can I say fresh bananas, ripe bananas? Are they the same? Uh, for example, Honza, another one. If I say ripe banana, correct? Is that correct? I, what do you I think? I think so. Uh, I, I could say that, yeah, I, I could. What is the color of a ripe banana, Honza? Probably the yellow. Yeah, that's it. And now let's see here. For example, we have um, eggs, okay? We have eggs here in this picture. Do you think I, could, I should say ripe eggs or fresh eggs? What is better? Fresh eggs. Fresh eggs, great. So that means I cannot say ripe eggs. I can only say fresh eggs. But at the same time, I can say ripe banana and fresh banana. Any rule that we can learn from this? Ripe, we, uh, we can translate it. I think then it's easy to understand. How would you translate it, uh, Honza? Can you try? Ripe. Ripe, zralý. Zralý and fresh? Čerstvý. Čerstvý, that's it. So then if uh, you cannot say that, uh, you know, uh, eggs are ripe. It sounds really strange. It would be used only for fruit or vegetable, something that grows 
and then it reaches time when it's uh, great to eat, okay? But it, the idea is the same, the perfect time for eating. All right, let's try number seven. We have chemicals. Be careful because uh, a common mistake is that uh, Czechs pronounce it with H. There is no H in English. So be careful, we say chemicals, K. So Matej, can you tell me, in which picture can you see chemicals? Uh, I don't know if it's, there is number uh, mm -hmm. in the picture next to the second. And, uh, yes, and, correct. And the third. The third, uh, uh, you mean with banana? To, oh, yeah, to, yeah, yeah. To the left. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Yes. So carbohydrate, protein, blah, blah, blah. Yes, correct. Now, uh, we have these uh, codes for chemicals. Now, E124, E132, and so on. Now, Matej, do you think that all chemicals are bad? All are not bad, but it's better if it's without them. Yeah, so the fewer, the better. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, let's put it like this. All right, wonderful. Now, some chemicals are natural. Some chemicals are artificial, that we make them, right? Uh, e numbers are usually made, right? But who knows? Maybe some of them are natural. I'm not an expert in this. Let's try number eight. Uh, nutrients, for example, proteins or minerals. So based on this, we see the, the examples, carbohydrate, protein, fat, vitamin, minerals, water. How can we translate the word nutrient? Anybody knows? How can we translate the word nutrient? Okay, can be. Okay, so that means you need it to live. If you don't have nutrients, you will die. It's that simple, all right? Now, some food has many nutrients. Some food doesn't have nutrients or maybe just a little bit, okay? For this, we would say that the food is nutritious. If the food is nutritious, it has a lot of nutrients. So, for example, let me ask you, uh, Onze, now is the time to shine. Onze, tell me, which food is nutritious? Very nutritious. Um, like from this food we can see here or? Uh, any, give us any, any example, yeah. Um, nutritious. Um, um, so it has a lot of nutrients. For example, Apple mm -hmm. is nutritious. Yeah, that's yeah. it. That's it. And a food which is not nutritious, Peter, can you try? Uh, fries. Uh, how? French fries. French fries, correct, yes. So uh, that means if you only eat French fries, you will probably die, all right? If you only eat rice, you will be fine, all right? If you only eat rice and nothing else, you will live. Maybe you will not be super healthy, but you will live. But if you only eat rice or hamburgers, you will probably not be healthy. Now, uh, for this, I have a little movie recommendation that I have left on the, on the Google Classroom wall. You will find it right here. It's called uh, Super Size Me. Has anybody heard of this movie? Super Size Me. Yeah. Yes. Malek, what, what is the movie about? Uh, I think there's a guy uh, who eats every meal in McDonald's for a month. <laughs> exactly, yeah. And, and if they ask him uh, if he wants supersized meal, uh, he has to take it. Uh, yeah, 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 great. That was another challenge, right? And what happened to him? Uh, he was fat and yeah, he was yeah. very unhealthy. Yeah, so he started as a healthy man. Uh, the challenge was for one month and what happened to him after five days he gained uh, 9.5 pounds so about 4.3 kilos and uh, he experienced depression and also lethargy that means he was very sleepy he didn't have much energy he had headaches and uh, they could be relieved only by eating another mcdonald's meal all right uh, the doctor stopped him he didn't finish the full month i think but I'm not really sure. I saw it a long time ago. So uh, I think he didn't finish the, the whole challenge because he would die probably. All right. So uh, very interesting movie for those who haven't seen it. It's more like a documentary. So I, I don't know. You might enjoy it. Just I was thinking about it because, uh, you know, it's connected to the word nutrients. 
which means that the McDonald's meals don't have a lot of nutrients. They have a lot of calories, but not a lot of nutrients. That's the thing. So let's try number 10. Uh, for example, uh, 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 Honza, but this time Honza T, all right? T. Uh, where can you see regulation? In which picture? I think under chemical bowl. Yeah, yeah, that's it. How did you know? Uh, or what, what is a regulation for? You can, uh, yeah, tell me. Regulation is, I think, uh, saying, or... mm -hmm. Naz yeah, yeah, or regulation or okay. And why would we need that for food? Why is it important? Because when it's some food, mm -hmm. I don't know, then no one is, I, I mm -hmm. think, when it's uh, dangerous, bad, or. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. All right. So food can be dangerous without regulations. People will do whatever they like with the food and it can get very dangerous. Then there's the verb. Uh, Honza, can you read the verb? Regulate. Regulate. Yeah, that's it. So then the question uh, comes and the question would be who should regulate the companies, right? That make food, for example. But this is for the discussion later. So this is all the vocabulary we will need today for our discussion. Are there any questions? Is everything clear? All the words are fine. So I take it as all, all good, you know, and uh, you can always watch this video again. Uh, I will leave it on YouTube. So thank you so much.